Fight Club 25, we in here, man. I want to talk about Demetrius Andre, man, and his upcoming fight. But before I get into that, man, I have to clear up some confusion. Uh, there were people that was under the impression, we all were under the impression, that Demetrius Andre was on course to fight Jamel Charlo after he beat Willie Nelson. But things have gone the other way, and we're going to talk about that. I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, let me sip this water, man. We're going to talk some boxing. Okay, we get right into it. Demetrius Andre, he beat Willie Nelson, right? He became the W, uh, excuse me, he became the mandatory contender for WBC champ Jamel Charlo, not to be confused with his twin brother, Jamal Charlo, the IBF champion, but Jamel Charlo, okay? Uh, the other mandatory contender being Charles Hatley, uh, he was supposed to fight Demetrius Andre in the title eliminator. After he beat Will and Willie Nelson, they were supposed to, uh, him and Hatley were supposed to face off in the title eliminator and the winner get Jamel Charlo, okay? That's what the that was supposed to happen uh, under the WBC. None of that went happen. Things have gone the other way. And I'm going to tell you what happened right now. Demetrius Andrade's promoter and his team, uh, they decided that it was better that they pursue Eris Landy Lara. I guess they feel Eris Landy Lara versus uh, Demetrius Andrade would be a bigger fight. And uh, what they did was uh, Demetrius Andrade's promoter, he hollered at uh, Steven Espinoza. He, matter of fact, he said this back in June that he was going to step to uh, Steven Espinoza. He's going to holler at Steven Espinoza of Showtime to see if he would be interested in uh, Demetrius Andrade facing Eris Landy Lara. And I guess there was some interest because uh, now fast forward to today. Now we have Andre set to face off with Jack Koke. Uh, Jack Koke is the WBA regular champion. He holds the regular belt. Uh, as you all know, Eris Landy Lara holds the super champion belt, man. So eventually, eventually, I, I guess, you know, their reasoning is that eventually the WBA would order uh, the regular champion to face off with the super champion, man. Uh, the WBA has said of as of late that they want to minimize the amount of belts uh, by making their champions fight each other. So, um, Eris Landy Lara versus Demetrius Andre is highly possible if Demis Demetrius Andre uh, defeats Jack Koke. Uh, now, let me talk about Jack Koke. Uh, his the WBA had ordered those two to fight uh, back in July. Negotiations between the two promoters, uh, it came down to a purse bid. A, a purse bid. Jack Koke's promoters, they won the purse bid. So the fight is likely to happen in Germany uh, late October or early November, man. So there you have it. Uh, Demetrius Andrade is going to face off with Jack Koke, most likely in Germany, uh, for the WBA regular belt. And uh, he has options, man. He has options from there. Uh, like I said, the WBA, they will eventually order him to face Eris Landy Lara. And uh, that's a good fight. I would like to see it, man. I would definitely love to see that fight. I think I think the fight would outsell uh, Jamel Charlo and Drake fight. I really think that it would do better. It would do better ratings wise. I doubt it would make pay-per-view. Uh, but who knows these days, man, with the type of pay-per-views that they're putting on, who knows? Uh, no one can really say, uh, but I wanted to give you that update, man, and let you know what was going on with, uh, Demetrius Andre. And there you have it, man. Uh, the road to Everest Landy Lava, man. That's what that is, man. All right. Fight Club 25. Subscribe.